Today on our boat trailer, we'll be installing the Demco Hydraulic Brake Line Kit for tandem axles, part number DM5425. Now to begin our install, we'll first need to remove the older manufacturer's lines. Now before we install the new line, we'll go ahead and drill a hole here in the frame so that we can run our line directly out of the frame and into the back of the coupler at the master cylinder instead of going out the frame and around the coupler. Now with our hole drilled out, we'll go ahead and install the hose, take the long steel lines provided with our install kit, we'll straighten it out, run it into the frame. Now that we've got the hose pulled up into position, it'll go into the back of the master cylinder here at the coupler. Note, as we thread into the master cylinder, we'll also twist the line with an extra set of hands as it goes into the frame so that we don't twist or pinch the hose or line as we're tightening it down. Quick tech tip, we'll make sure that the hose is centered of the hole so that it doesn't wear against the outer edge and create a hole in our hose. Now we'll go ahead and move back to the frame of the trailer, start routing and securing the steel line following the manufacturer's route along the driver's side frame rail. Keep in mind when bending your lines that you don't want to make any sharp corners. Make slow, easy bends so that we don't kink the line. We'll use the new hold down and self-tapping screw to secure the line to the frame. Now, because of the excess length of this trailer, we're gonna to need to modify our install kit. We'll take the 30 inch piece of steel line and add it to the main line coming back from the coupler. Using the Titan Hydraulic Brake Union, part number T1287900, to connect the two steel lines together. This will allow us to come back in between the two rear axles. From there, we'll add the T-block provided with the install kit out of the block to the front axle we'll use one of the hydraulic brake hoses provided with the install kit. We'll then go into a T-block on the axle and steel lines coming out of the block to both wheel cylinders. Our second output going to the rear axle we're going to use the Kodiak Hydraulic Brake Hose, part number BH-3MFS-3-5, to take the length from the first T-block on the frame back to the second axle. We'll install another T-block to go off to both wheel cylinders. We're going to use a loom clamp to secure the line to the frame. Next, we'll be using the steel lines coming out of the block to both wheel cylinders. We'll use the new hold down and self-tapping screw just to secure the steel lines coming out of the block to both wheel cylinders. Now to bleed out your brake system, it's recommended that you fill up the master cylinder, open up the bleeder, and allow it to gravity bleed first, and the fluid will just dribble out. Then when you're ready to apply some pressure, we get an extra set of hands to actuate the brake mechanism 
and it will push fluid out. We'll do that 10 to 12 times, making sure we get straight fluid each time to make sure we get all the air out of the system. Quick tech tip, make sure that you keep the master cylinder full as you're bleeding the brakes. Now that we have the system completely bled out and the master cylinder kept back on, this will complete the install of our Demco hydraulic brake line kit for tandem axles, part number DM5425.